okay, this is the first video in a series on Vim. And who is who are these videos designed for? They are not necessarily designed for someone who is brand new to Vim. You're, I'm not going to show you the very basics of it, but if you're an advanced user, you probably know most of what I'm going to show you. So this is kind of for someone who's been using Vim for a little while and wants to advance their skills. Um, if you are brand new to Vim, once you install Vim on a system, most of the time you're going to have a program installed called Vim Tutor. So just type in Vim Tutor in your shell and start up. And basically all it does is it starts up Vim with a text file that is a tutorial that you go through, you follow it, and you end up editing this file based on the instructions and learning how to use Vim right inside Vim with a document in Vim. Vim Tutor is a great thing for people who are brand new to Vim. Check it out if you are. Moving on with our tutorial. Today we're going to look at uh, two different things. We're going to look at how to turn on syntax highlighting for when you're writing out scripts and code and how to add that to your vimrc file so that it's always enabled when you go into files. So for example, I'm going to go into a file I have here called test and it's a basic little bash script that does some things, but you notice that it's not highlighted. The text is green. That's just because that's my default color in my shell. Yours might be a different color, but it's not highlighting different portions of the code, different color to help you troubleshoot errors. And you also, as you know, when you go into Vim, you're not automatically in insert mode and you can run commands. So if we hit shift colon to put it, start a little prompt down here in the bottom left, I can now start typing commands in. And what I can type in is I can type in syntax on. And when I hit that, it automatically highlights this file. And I can start typing more lines, blah, 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 at, you know, nmap. You know, and it does its best. You can get different themes for different programming languages. Right now we're just using the default uh, settings, which works fairly well. Um, but at this point, you know, there, there's no modification to the file. This is, we open up a text file, we open up a script, and Vim looks through it and tries to determine what parts of this uh, script are comments, which com which parts are functions, which parts are strings, that sort of thing. So if I was to save this and exit out and go back in, you'll notice it's not highlighted anymore. And again, I can hit colon. And at this point, I can use my up and down arrow keys just like I can in my shell to go through previous commands. So I can turn highlighting on. I can go and I can change it to off if I want, for some reason, turn off syntax highlighting. I also want to mention there is a shorter version of that. If I was to uh, go in here, I can just type in syn, syn on. So colon sin on does the same as syntax on and same uh, colon sin off turns it off. But again, even if it's on, if I exit out of the file and I go back in, it's no longer on. But any command I type down there in that little prompt, I can put in my vimrc file. Now you may have heard of other files on Linux and Unix systems that um, end or have rc in them. For example, your bash rc file or uh, inside your Etsy folder, you probably have a, an rc.local file or even an rc folder. rc stands for run command, and it's just commands that are run when that program starts up. So I'm going to save this, and in my home directory, I have a file called .vimrc. The dot means that it's a hidden file on Unix and Unix-like systems such as Linux. Uh, any file that starts with a dot is a hidden file. So if you go into your file browser, you may not see this file if it exists unless you have hidden files shown. Uh, so right now we're going to type in vim and that file name and if it exists we're going to edit it, if not we're going to be creating it. I already have it with just one line and inside the vimrc file any line that starts with a quotation mark is considered a comment. So I just put a comment in there just to have something in this file for now. But I'm going to go into insert mode and I'm just going to type in uh, syntax on and I'm going to save that file. Now if we go back to our vim test file, or my little test file, our script here, you'll notice that syntax highlighting up is on as soon as I go into that file. And in fact, if I exit out of that and go back into my vimrc file, you can see that that is now highlighted as well. And highlighting is very important when you're writing out any type of code because it helps. It can help you troubleshoot. For example, if I was to come down here, if we were for, to forget this quotation mark, you notice that all down here, all these things turn to purple, meaning that there's that 
uh, Vim thinks that they're strings for some reason and it helps you go, oh, how come this isn't highlighted in yellow? You know, and you go, oh, okay, I missed a quotation mark there. It's very helpful. And again, uh, Vim has some default highlighting, but you can get other templates, if you will, for different languages to, for very specific languages to help you troubleshoot those languages. Um, but even just the default is very useful compared to just having no syntax highlighting. So again, this video is the first in a series. I'm going to have uh, more Vim videos coming in the following weeks. So be sure to subscribe, like, share, comment. Be go, to, go to my website, filmsbychris.com. There's a link in the description of that. That's Chris with a K. There you can search through all my videos from both my channels. And uh, also, if you like my videos and want to support me, you can go over to patreon.com forward slash mailx1000. There's a link to that in the description. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support me and my videos, my work here. If you want to do a one-time support, you uh, there's a link under support uh, at Films by Chris uh, to a PayPal account. Uh, beyond that, I thank you for watching. As always, uh, I hope that you have a great day, and be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment.